the three most important signs that will happen before the rapture. Why we pray for breakthrough, we pray for healing, pray for this or that. It's good. But the most important miracle that we can receive from God is our salvation. Our salvation, the salvation of our soul is the most important miracle that can ever happen to us as Christians. Without this, no matter what we achieve here on earth as Christian is wasted. It's a wasted, it's a waste, wasted time. So that is why I want to urge all of us. Let us uh, prepare for the rapture. Because what I am seeing, okay, is that we are almost there. It just is stepping to it. You know, I don't always deceive you. I always tell you what is about to happen. Me and you will not die before the rapture comes. Is this our generation that will witness the rapture? So we must understand the importance of what we are about to hear now. It's very important. Okay. So, what is rapture itself? Rapture is not uh, a strange concept. It's a concept that both Jesus himself and uh, his apostle discuss in the Bible. Even in English dictionary, rapture means a sudden transportation of Christians okay, to heaven. At the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is how it is divine. But to us as Christians, it's a mystery. It's the dis disappearing of the believers by the means of the Holy Spirit before okay, the tribulation time will come. Immediately after the rapture, that will usher us in into seven years of tribulation. Immediately after the rapture, then the next chapter of this world will be witnessing the seven years tribulation where Antichrist, okay, will come as a man of peace within three and a half years. And then after three and a half years, he will break his covenant, his contract with Israel, and then tell everybody all over the world that they should be worshiping him. Okay, and it's worshiping. You know that why the Antichrist will be so acceptable is because there are three things he possesses that he will possess one, spiritual power, secondly, economic power, and thirdly, political power. Now, the whole world has lost spiritual and economic power, what they have is political power. Even those who are cheering hope to come and rule you next year, they just want to become head of state. Because there is not on the ground for them to work with. Don't wait for any of them. Okay? Don't wait for any of these people. Because there is nothing. The country has already been submerged. All over the world has been submerged in economic crisis. Inflation is... is Every day it goes up. So, only wait for God. God is our helper. Rapture is a sudden disappearance of all believers to heaven, okay, before the day of tribulation. Don't tell us that you don't understand rapture, okay? What happened to Elijah is what I'm saying here. It happened to Hinox. It happened to Elijah. All these people in the Old Testament were raptured. Elijah was raptured. He did not die. Okay? His clothes, everything went down. And he, and he flew away. 
This will exactly what is meant by rapture. When you read the case of Elijah, okay, that is exactly what's going to happen to us as believers. It's a sudden disappearance of all believers. And then the world will now say it is a sickness. They will give it a name like COVID-19. Okay, that that is what happened why many people disappeared. They will now begin to say, oh, for us not to disappear again, let everybody get sicknesses so that they will know where you are. And that time you have no option and to collect it. If you are seeing it. So, if you look at, uh, let's go to the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 17. But I will not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep. That means to be asleep is to die. Okay? Asleep. That you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. Let the next verse says, For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. If you believe that, you should believe in the rapture. Even so then, even so then, also we sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him. The next verse, he said, For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remained, okay, until the coming, okay, that the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Those who have died in Christ will rise first. While we that were alive, we go and join them. That's what he's saying. The next verse, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. As it is written in Revelation chapter 1 verse 10. With a shout. A shout means a trumpet. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Yes. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Okay. To be caught up. It will be suddenly taken away. Jesus, I will tell you how Jesus described it, this. Okay. Jesus himself spoke about this. But I will tell you what Jesus says about it. He said, then which we are alive. Okay. And the men shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To mean the Lord in the air, in the air, not on the ground. Okay. And so shall we ever be with him, with the Lord. We're going to be with him. We're going to be with him for seven years of tribulation. After the seven years of tribulation, we're going to return back with him to come and take over the world. That is when you will see when the Bible says the kingdom of this world has become, okay, has become the kingdom of God and that of our Christ. That's what will happen after seven years of tribulation. So you can see that this is how this man, the apostle, divine rapture. Let's look at what Jesus says about the rapture. Let's go to Matthew 24 from verse 40. Then shall two be in the field. Then shall two, he say, then shall be two in the field, yes? The one shall be taken. One shall be cut off. And the other left. Which one that shall be taken? The one that has the spirit of God with him. Okay? That hears when the trumpet will blow. Because the trumpet will blow three times. Pam, 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 pam. That is if those who are dead will hear it. Pam. Because they are not busy. Pam, pam, pam. The second time. Pam, pam, pam. The third time. Then we will be cut away. Okay? Two men shall be in the feed. One shall be cut off. Yes? Two women shall be grinding at the mill. Two women shall be grinding at what? The mill. Yes. The one shall be taken and the other left. One shall be taken. Two women will be in the new market. One shall be taken and one shall be left alone. Yes. Watch therefore. For watch, ye, watch therefore. For ye not, not what how our Lord doth for. Yes, he said, watch there, therefore. For ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Okay? 
He said, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what which in, wo, in what in what wash the thief would come, he would have washed and would not have uh, suffered his house to be broken up. So we should understand Jesus Christ himself is the one telling us about the rapture here. So whatever Jesus says is final. He says two women, if you look at Luke also, he said two will be sleeping on the bed. Husband and wife. The husband can be taken while the wife will be left behind. You will just wake up and see your wife dead. You don't wake up and see your husband disappear. You will open the bedroom, you will go to the bedroom, you will go to the parlor, you go to the you will be calling her, you will be calling him, nobody will answer you. Only those who are like you and with you. So this is what we are about to witness very soon. Okay? And God himself, which is Jesus himself, has given us signs. Okay? Given us signs that will precede this rapture. Okay? Has given us signs that will precede this rapture. Let's go to the same chapter, uh, Matthew 24. Okay? And then let's read from verse, from verse 3. Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, uh, yes. the disciple came unto him privately, saying, As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, hope you know that it was this same Mount of Olives in Acts of Apostles chapter 1 that Jesus Christ ascended to heaven after his death and his resurrection. It was this Mount of Olives that he ascended. Okay? The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 12 to 14, okay, if you look at chapter 12, chapter 13 and 14, it says the same month, month of olives, Jesus will land after the tribulation to come and rescue the people of Israel and those who still believe. Okay, this month of olives is very important. But now they have built houses in most of the places. But the Bible says when Jesus will come, there will be earthquake. And what was former will now be will now be assumed back again. So continue to read that verse 3. Say, tell us when shall these things be? The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us what shall these things be? Yes. And what shall be the sign of the coming? What shall be the sign? Okay. And of the end of the world. What shall be the sign of your coming is two things here. The sign of your coming, the sign that will precede the rapture, and the sign of the end of the world. Okay, there are two things here they are asking him. But then, he was now telling them that, okay, let's look at that from verse 7. He said, one of the signs is that, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence. There shall be famines. There shall be flood everywhere. The whole world is submerged in crisis of pestilence. Either it is Ebola disease, either it is COVID-19, either it is famine, and the rest of them. Nigeria is not left out. You know what is happening in Kogi State, in all of our state of this country now. The almost the whole state has been submerged in flood. That is what God says is going to happen. In Florida, you know how many people that died? In China, in so many places. You know of uh, Afghanistan, almost two-thirds has been submerged. Serious crisis everywhere. And you know what is happening now? Joblessness, crime in highest order. Okay. It says, for nations shall rise against nation. You can see what is happening in the you see Mali now or Guinea Republic. Why some other people will raise Russian flag, some other part of the country will raise uh, France flag. All of these are confusion. Almost all African uh, state or countries are now in coup. So much problem. Is it Cameroon? Cameroon is divided already. Is it the uh, Guinea Republic? Is he Ivory Coast? Is all of this place? Is he Mali? Is he all of this? You can see that the soldiers are coming back to take over again. 
you see this country okay this is the first time you can see that the country is virtually divided into almost four or five places okay now nobody knows even the leaders of this country does not know what will happen next year i don't want to be seeing some things we are seeing darkness we are seeing confusion okay so to pray that all of these things will not happen we're going about all this prophecy that this man of god has seen all their prophecies are fake okay all these men of god they are the one this are the sign this is the second sign that jesus the rapture is about to come because all the prophecy that are given you now is fake the only person who has given a prophecy that close to what i'm seeing is pastor Degoye and joshua gila only two of them the rest are just being carried along by the waves of social media waves of what is happening they are just talking to their members because they themselves and their members are ignorant we should even pray that the election should hold that is only two people who have seen that is talking where pastor Degbo and joshua gila brother joshua gila the bible says when a prophet prophesy two should sit down and see what they are saying whether it is true God has not said this way yet. So these prophecies are fixed. Okay, hear from me and quote me. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes. All of these things are mentioned as come and gone. Pestilence, famine, all of this verse 8 all these are the beginning of sorrow okay you can see that even in this church you are delivering some people they want to kill themselves they are tired of life it has never been like this before okay when young men and young women be tired of life and trying to commit suicide okay in that verse 9 say then shall they deliver you ought to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated you shall be hated okay of all nations for my name's sake this is the first sign among the three signs that number number nine that is the first sign that you must know now if you post anything on any social media platform you are attacked anything that concerns jesus you are attacked what satan has done now he has sold all the youth to unbelief he has sold the youth to unbelief i've never heard when people are born in bible but now i heard of people born in bible there is no jesus god does not exist just post anything on facebook those that will attack you will be more much more than the few ones who will just appreciate jesus christ indeed some will say i cannot complain i don't know i cannot comment i don't know whether this is jesus or not jesus okay because now it is the time of the youth but the youth sold to unbelief any man who can prophesy faith now belongs to them you just say hey, this will happen they will they will carry your names okay carry your names to a lot of other social media for that this man has given a good prophecy they are even misconstruing okay what tv Gusha said tv Gusha does not mention anybody's name okay he only said there will be a third force party that will shake that will shake the other two big party but it does not mention the name of anybody so but now they are misquoting him because it's not alive if it's alive he would have come to the social media and defend himself 
But let me say to you, I'm be clear with you. That is not what it says. Okay? So that nobody make mistake and say this is what he has said. It's not, it's not what he said. So, you can see what is happening now. He said they will hate you because of Jesus. They will hate you. Once you post anything now on social media platform, the next thing is attacked. They start calling you scammer, calling you thief, calling you all kind of names. They just want to hear what they want to hear. They don't want to hear about Jesus Christ any longer. Okay? They don't believe that Jesus is, is, is alive. They see Jesus now, okay, as a cancer. They see Jesus as a cancerous sickness to them. When you mention Jesus in their midst, they see it as if it is, you are trying to abuse them. Okay, you are trying to offend them. Jesus now, the preaching of Jesus, or the making mention of Jesus' name, and those who preach Jesus, is offense. It's an offense to many people now over the world. Even in this country, it's an offense. So, this is a sign Jesus said to happen. And that is a big sign. And that sign is almost passing away. And we are entering the second most important sign. Where we are now. The two signs, okay, the first and second sign is almost together. You can only differentiate the two, the, the, between both of them. They are almost together. Okay? This, if you post anything now, you get serious attack. Even pastors. I saw a pastors, okay, those pastors that normally put color in the Facebook. Insulting me and say this is a 409. Okay? I think it's the second largest church in this country. He said this is 409. This is not of God. Ordinary person does not put pastor. Was the one telling him to keep quiet. If that pastor can be saying so, what of, it, what of their members? Two members. So you can see what, we, what is happening now. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to, their, to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay? And then shall many be offended. Okay? They are offended now because of us, because of Jesus. They are offended. Those youth of Nigeria don't want to hear anything about the miracle of Jesus Christ. The only way they accept you now is to come to the pulpit to make fake prophecies. Then they'll be clamming for you. Make prophecies. They want to hear what they want to hear. So he says in verse 10, he says, And then shall many be offended. And shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. What you are seeing now is hatred. I was praying for one man in America. His own brother was the one that sold him out. The same mom, the same dad. Okay? The same mother, the same father. And many false prophets. That is the second sign. The second sign is that we shall have many false prophets. When we sprang up, okay, to deceive everybody. Many false prophets. You can see now, these pastors and prophets, they have introduced weight, introduced weight into Christendom. Weight is now what they use to capture the youth and everybody. If you don't have a private jet now, you are not a genuine man of God. Okay? If you don't have billions of dollars and naira, I don't know a genuine man of God. This is an error that we should be careful of. See, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Okay? This is the generation we are in now. Many people now want to teach 
what you want to hear. They don't want to tell you not to fornicate any longer. They don't want to tell you not to commit adultery. Let's go to the book of 4 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Yes. That in the later times. In the last days. Yes. Some shall depart from the faith. They shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirits. And the doctrines of devils. And the doctrines of devils. That is what people want to hear now. Okay. Those who are still hearing those kind of message are elderly people. And elderly women. Those young men of nowadays don't want to hear those kind of preaching. They want to hear what they want to hear. Okay. Their ears are scratching them and they are looking for cutting board. Those who have it to scratch it for them. This is where we are now. And this is a sign that God is about to return very soon. See, there are many false prophets shall arise. This false prophet and the one teaching those, okay, those heresies. And the one who says Christ cannot heal cancer any longer. Okay? They make you believe only in science and philosophy. The preaching of Christ is now to them an, is, an history. Just like an historian something. Just as what has happened. But it cannot happen again. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because, and because of all of these things, okay, Iniquity shall abound, and the love of many shall wash hold. Now, if you post anything, people will just attack you. Because they don't believe in prophets any longer. They don't believe in pastors any longer. Okay? They don't believe. Now, if you want to, if somebody wants to pray for you, you must collect money. He does not collect money. Even himself, knows that that thing will not work. And if it does not collect money, you that they want to pay for, you think that this thing will not work. Because something must be given. Because the things of God must be sold out. It must be bought on an open market. So these false men of God, they are the ones who are giving this false prophecy in Nigeria about what will happen next year. Okay? I see all of them as false prophets. Because God has not even spoken about who is going to win next year election. God has not spoken. God is even saying whether he's going to hold. And you are saying this person will win. So they, to me, the false prophet. Okay? Instead of them to mind the things of God, heal the sick, raise it, preach salvation, preach rapture, they are now preaching what these people like to them. That's where they are reigning. They want to shine. They want to be famous. They are fake. God has not seen anybody that will win. He has not revealed it to anybody. If anybody says he has seen who will go to win, it's fake. Let's just pray. What we are seeing is that let us pray so that there will be no darkness. Or let us pray that the election will hold. So this is what I'm saying. Because we have had this prophet before who says this person will win, this person will win, this person will win, and nobody will win. We have had them. They still have members. Because when they, those people who are listening to them, and like them. We have had so many in this country who say this one will win, this one will win, this one will win, this one will not win. But it has not been like that. So the whole scenario continues to today. There are so many, if you look at social media now, you will see one prophet somewhere who has never done anything, who is not even married, who has married 24 wives, who just give prophecy, bam! Everybody is hailing him. There's one prophet in so so place. Oh, that has given us is going to win. I will not join issue with such prophet. To me, 
I think they should go and repent. They should go and repent. He says, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because of, because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wash cold. Now people don't love to come to church any longer. Those who are serious. Those who go to church now, they go there because of their friend. Because they want to associate. But they are not there to hear the message of salvation. They are not there to hear the message of repentance. They are not there to hear the message of love. And they are not there to know about Jesus. And what Jesus who he is. And what he has come to do. And when he's coming back. So, these are the things we have now. Men of God now only start church because they want to feed their st stomach. Okay? They want to feed their stomach. Men of God call. That's why they are forced. But they have money to start church. And they have money to pay on Facebook. And they have money to pay on television. Okay? This is why nowadays everyone begins to hate something about Jesus. Because nobody knows the truth any longer. We count how many churches in this state, in this country. From here to New Benin Market, can almost have 500,000 churches. You can turn all these churches, you will not get any. I was praying for one woman here on Thursday. They said he has shown seat in so many churches. He has went to so many churches and there is no, no healing. And I see the daughter becoming cold about pastors. When I was praying, was looking at me. Can this be where I've been to? Is it the same place? Is it the same place? Is it the same thing that will happen to me? Okay. So these are the pastors we have nowadays who are just here because of what they want to benefit. Want to want to gain. That's why they are opening churches. It's not only Christianity. It's all religion. All. All religion. No longer Christianity. You can see now all over the world the youth of those countries like Iran. They want to remove their hijab. They want to look like other in social medias. So everybody is just fighting against anything called spirituality. Because it's the last days. It's the last thing that will happen. So we should be careful of the kind of churches we go now and this. Don't say because the church has been established for many years ago and it's everywhere. No. It might not be your vehicle to go to heaven. Okay? If salvation is not preached, if righteousness is not preached, if abundance of sin is not preached, if rapture is not preached, I don't think you have any business in some churches. If healing is not done, okay? If there are no miracles and wonders, listen to me, if you are false, and the one that is still holding on to Jesus, holding on for Jesus, holding forth for him, because if that lady has come here on Thursday, after he heard about me, and I'm fake, you know what will happen? would have lost almost every inch of faith that she has. So we should be careful now and this. What these men of God okay, lead us to say. Don't say anything that don't know. If you see anybody performing miracle, don't say that person is fake. Because what they are trying to do is that Satan is using them to make men of us to go to hell. But the only thing that cannot be forgiven now on the days to come, is when you give the glory of God to Satan. When you see me on Facebook, healing people, healing cancer, and you say, I'm fake. Already you are in hell, fire. You can never be forgiven. It means you have given the glory of God, you gave it to Satan. So if you know what is happening, just make sure you keep quiet. Don't go to hell with your pastors. So, because this is a very delicate and dangerous time. Read the Bible 
and be convinced of what your, your man of God is saying before you do it. Don't let somebody carry you to the river and for you and have sex with you. Don't let anybody collect thousands of naira from you before he can pray for you. He's sick. Okay? All this and the signs of an end time. So the sign of an end time. Don't let somebody bring you to the VG in the church and then have sex with you and say it's part of VG. It's fake. All these are fake. It does not work. Anything that is not written here must not be acceptable or accepted. It's fake. Nowhere Jesus has sex with any lady or breakthrough. Where Jesus prayed for anybody in the river or breakthrough. Nowhere. You can see one is supposed to be doing is opposite they are doing. How many pastors in this state have you seen breaking pot on that? I'm the first person who have done it. But now they are criticizing me. But it's written in the, it's in the Bible that we should break the pot. And last week Sunday, you know what happened? So this is what is happening now and this. So, this is the, the second sign that the rapture is about to come. When you see all these fake men of God who prophesies about next year election, who prophesied this, prophesied this, just okay, to get a glimpse of being fame or famous. Instead of them to be praying that the country should break, so we're going to be praying that the country, the election should hold. They are giving fake prophecy that will cause more problem. The prophecy they are giving will cause more problem. It will not help the country next year. So please don't listen to them. Just pray that let God allow the election to hold. And let there be no, let there be no crisis. Let there be no war. Let what happened in 1967 not repeat itself again? That's what you should be praying for. Let not happen the civil war that happened in 1967. Let it not repeat itself. That is the prayer you should be praying. Stop giving false prophecy that this person will win, this person will not win. It's fake. These are end times end time prophet and pastors who just want to shine who want to be applauded okay who does not want to be criticized and let's see now if the prophecy they give does not work okay any man who gave a genuine prophecy letter will be seen as fake they will hate you so we must understand that at this end time okay we must be careful what we listen to. The church, we, the message we listen to, our association with men of God and even Christian alike must be very careful because this is high. But as it is said, in the midst of this, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. And then, the final sign that must happen before the rapture is verse 14. Which has already happened. Verse 14. Can we go there? It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto nations unto all nations and then shall the end come then the rapture will come the question we have to ask all of us is simple where is the gospel not being preached where the only place gospel is not being preached now is those who have had it and rejected it according to romans chapter 11 verse 24 to 25 those who have had it those of you who stop coming to church today, you know that one way and the other in the past, you have been going to one church, but now you have stopped. You don't want to hear about Christ again. 
is a sign of an end time. It's a sign that the rapture is about to come. Any moment when people, okay, nations, communities, families begin to reject Jesus, you should know that rapture is about to come. Now this country, have, they are now rejecting Jesus. They don't want to hear about Jesus again. They can listen to you if you are ready to satisfy what they want to hear. That's when they listen to you. How can somebody be sick for 20 years in this state? A woman was sick 20 years in this state. I saw a big breast of cancer on Thursday. Even me, fear come. I have to resolve myself, reorganize myself. Who was here on Thursday? Big breast, cancer. I was asking the man, where are you? Big. Big breast cancer. Now, the doctor has slated this woman to cut her breast. If the breast eventually is cut away, the second one will be cut away. And if the second one is cut away, very soon, that lady will be very, very unwilling to hear any man of God talking. I'm telling you the truth. I know women very well. They can easily react and get believed. But a pinch would destroy their faith. If the pastor, if any pastor now begins to talk, they will say, now fake, you know, go feel you. Why did I cut my breast? This is what we have nowadays. This is what we have. Because all those who claim to be pastors and prophets nowadays, 99% of them are fake. They are not from Jesus. They are not called by him. That is why they arrange. That's why they manipulate. That is why they go to demon and collect power to prophesy. You see what happened on Thursday? He said they have been prophesying to that woman. But prophecy, nothing happened. Okay? If I know you, if I know that you are hungry, there will be no need for me to say, are you hungry? I should just give you bread. That's what I did. I just went to her and began to pray for her because I know she was sick. There will be no need to entertain anybody. But after the woman has been healed, then prophecy now came. You can see what happened here last two, three weeks Sunday? Church member, they are buying cloth for, they are giving money to, is the one who is part of the problem of the same woman. Church member. You ask, they do not have a pastor. And this church is so big in this state. They don't have a pastor. Who should have come in in the midst of two of them and separate them spiritually? The person you are buying clothes for, the person you are taking care of, the person you want to give everything to, when, uh, when it's occasion, like uh, Thanksgiving or harvest, the same person going around to destroy you. You saw the, the, the woman I delivered here. How can somebody be taking having baby for two years? Yes. And the pastor is not worried. And the only thing the pastor will say is, you are blessed in Jesus' name. If it were to be me, I would have looked for a way to get you out of the church. Because to me, it worries me a lot. For two years, somebody is pregnant and nothing can be done. It warns me. So this is this error that we have faced. That is why anything you post now or anything you say tells you are a fake man of God. Except if you tell them that it's not a sin to have a boyfriend, they will accept you. 
It's not a sin to commit adultery. He will accept you. It's not a sin, okay, to do abortion. They will accept you. I will never ask you to do what I'm not doing. May God forbid. Okay. If I ask you to fast, I must fast. Even if it's 12 o'clock. Once on the state. If I ask you to give, I too must give double. If I have it. Okay. So, what we are exposed to now is lies everywhere. Because of these lies, many people are confused. Who is saying the truth? And you gain lies. And because they couldn't know, because they are not spiritually okay, they jump into the conclusion of calling everybody fake. Except if what you're in them is acceptable to them. That's when they will hold you, and plus you, praise you, and glorify you. Okay? You see what is happening? Somebody say this or this or this. But nothing happened. And such persons see us as. We must be careful because this is what God said to happen. So the last sign is verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world by witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Please, if you are here this morning or you are watching me on Facebook or anywhere, can you just raise up your hand and tell us which country has not about the gospel? Which country, which nation has not heard about the gospel? You raise up your hand and give us an example of such country. But as for me as a prophet, I know that all nations of the world has heard about the, the gospel. So what we are waiting for now is the rapture to come. That is why, don't wait for verse 15. Can you read that place for me, verse 15 of that Matthew 24? When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. When you shall see the abomination of desolation. What is abomination of desolation? When the Antichrist, okay, will come to the holies of holies and put his picture there, Jerusalem, and says, I am now God. You have to worship me. Then the rule of Israel will drive him away. And they will go back to his country and align with the nations of the world and say Israelite is the only enemies of the world. Once we destroy them, and then there will be peace. And that will start the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and the, and the seventh year of tribulation to come and fight for his people. So what we are seeing now is that we are just in the midst of this rapture. We are in the midst. If you are still doing devil and boyfriend, please go and pay your dowry. So I can go with us. Somebody came this morning and told me a vision. And she was crying. I looked at her and she was saying the truth. She saw me flying. And she was calling me. I couldn't answer her. I've told you several times. I'm the last prophet among the few. After me, come the rapture. Write it down. Mark it. I have never lied to you. And I will never. When I told you that TV Gusha will die, it does not take three or four months. As I went to see him in Lagos, after I see him, and he touched me and prayed for me, between me and him, it was goodbye, sir. Goodbye, my son. When I came here publicly like this on Sunday, I told you. I said, it's about to go. And after two months, he went away. I told you this year will be more bad, more worse than last year. And you can see now, rice, bag of rice is almost 40,000. Okay? Crime is at his peak. I told you three years ago of the COVID-19. Okay, I told you clearly. And the following year, there was COVID-19. So, and I'm telling you again now, 
that I am the last prophet among the field. All those baby men of God you are seeing, God have rejected them. I'm telling you clearly. They are rejected. Okay? Because they have abandoned the cause. Okay? And took on wet and rest. Let nobody say, because I don't have private jet. No. If God give me private jet, I will accept it. But then, what I'm telling you is that now, many of these so-called men of God you are saying, are no longer with Jesus. They're no longer. They are now with Satan. So we must ourselves prepare. Are you in this church? What is your decision? Are you watching me on Facebook? What is your decision? Are you watching me from the other room with your sugar daddy? What is your decision? The same God that uses me to heal cancer, to raise the dead, the same God that uses me to pray for you, to deliver you, the same God he has come and tell you this morning that is about to come. So what decision? Are you ready to stay back or are you ready to follow us? Are you ready? It might be today. It might be next week. It might be next year. It might be two years from now. But we are almost there. Almost. We are there. When you begin to see our garden, we begin to pluck fruit to eat. So we are almost there. Go to our garden. You will see that the grower, okay, has now been ready to be taken. Many things that are there, even the coconut, they are now ready to be taken. You should know. That was the prophecy God gave me last year. You should know that we are almost there. So please wash your feet, wash your hand, wait with the blood of Jesus. Be ready to take off because three and a half years will be good, but the remaining three and a half years will be worse. Economic condition can never be good again until after the rapture. Who is going to bring economic boom again is the Antichrist. Who we have the spiritual power, okay, economic power, and a political way to do just that. So, but for now, that who you were let, no matter who, what it is, don't wait on the boom. It will never happen again in any country of the world until after the rapture. So, please let us stand up this morning. What is your decision? What do you want to do? What is your plan? Do you want to continue in where you are in your sin? Do you want to continue? Okay. If that is your decision, you can sit down. But if you want to follow me, just as that lady saw it in the dream, okay, and you wake up shouting, Son of man, wait for me. Son of man, wait for me. But I did not hear her. So, he never told me yesterday. He only told me this morning. And this morning, I wanted to preach about what we're about to do. But God insisted that I should preach about the rapture. Whoever you are watching me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or whatever platform, what is your decision? Do you want to continue in this? Are you enjoying what you are doing? Are you even enjoying having a wife and still having sex with another woman? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying being, being impregnated and going to the hospital, opening your leg and suffering, okay, for abortion? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying all of this evil? Okay. 
if you know that you are not enjoying it and you know what I'm preaching is the truth, we need to give your life to Jesus now. All eyes closed. You are backslidden, you want to come back to him or you want to give your life to him. Please raise up your right hand. Let me see your right hand up, up to heaven. It's a sign that you are saying yes. Please, you see after me. Lord Jesus, please let us open our mouth. It's a sign. Call plus 234. 803-846. 3326 to book an appointment with the Son of Man today.